Only two months after Barack Obama's inauguration, local art lovers and political junkies are already reliving the president's campaign days. The inspiration for Officially Unofficial was to gather a lot of the artwork that had been generated for the campaign together in one, one location so that it could be seen as an exhibit. The prints, photos, and videos lining the walls here were created by nearly 60 different artists from around the country. Not surprisingly, the most popular themes are hope, change, and progress. One of the hallmarks of this campaign is that it inspired a huge number of artists and graphic designers to create work inspired by Barack Obama. The exhibit gets its name officially unofficial from its mix of artwork, from artists officially endorsed by the campaign such as Soul Sender to other non-commissioned artists, all of whom helped paint a picture of the 44th president in the mind of voters. These artists all felt very strongly somehow that they wanted to use their skills as communicators to participate in the political process. Familiar pieces include Shepard Fairey's iconic Hope image and Ray Nolan's Go Tell Mama poster series. The support that Obama generated from the creative community is pretty unique and part of that is related to the campaign's use of the internet. The whole ease now of communicating with vi visual design and communication over the internet. While nothing here at the exhibit is on sale, if you see something you like, you can go to officially-unofficial.com to find artist information and links on your favorite prints. And although Obama may be a bit busier these days, exhibitors still hope the president will make a trip back to his hometown to see a gallery that's giving a whole new meaning to the art of politics. We hope that when he's in the neighborhood, the president stops by. Bahar Tekteshi and CLTV News.